This video is an introduction to our section on modeling with linear equations. This section continues looking at linear models and building linear equations using a point and slope or two points. Recall that linear growth refers to a quantity that changes at a constant rate for each unit of time. Two examples of this could be working a job where you earn $12 an hour or taking 15 units of classes each semester. Each example there has a constant growth rate and therefore is a linear growth scenario. Slope intercept form or y equals mx plus b is a great form of a linear equation because it involves two very important pieces of information. The slope which we denote with the letter m and the y intercept which we denote with the letter b. In terms of our linear growth scenarios, we can think of the slope as the rate of change and the y intercept as the initial or fixed value. If we can identify those two pieces of information, we can quickly, quickly build a linear model in slope intercept form. For example, uh, say you have a sales job where you earn $95 per day plus $30 per item sold. We can model this with an equation uh, identifying that $95 per day is your fixed rate each day and the $30 per item sold is your rate of change, which is a constant growth rate. And we can plug that into y equals mx plus b, where 30 is m and 95 is b. And we get this model. What this model does is it takes in x values, which represent the number of items sold in a day, and it spits out y values, which represent the total amount of money earned in a day. Sometimes you're not simply given the slope and the y-intercept, and instead you have to do some work to come up with them first. For example, if you're given two points, you first have to use the slope formula to find the slope of the line that passes through those two points. This is the slope formula, m equals y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, which essentially computes the difference in the y values divided by the difference of the x values. Consider this example. Let's say you're writing a novel and you've noticed by the third week of writing, you've completed 10 pages, and by the eighth week, you have completed 30 pages. You could treat these two pieces of data as ordered pairs in terms of X and Y. So um, three weeks of writing, you have 10 pages, we could call that 310 as an ordered pair, and eight weeks of writing, 30 pages, we could call that 830, X is eight, Y is 30. We can then plug them into the slope formula to find your rate of change, which I've done here on the screen. 30 minus 10, that's the difference of our Y values. Eight minus three is the difference of our X values, and it simplifies to four. So we can interpret this as on average, you complete four pages per week. Lastly, if you wanna build an equation to model your progress of writing the book, you need to find your y-intercept or your initial or fixed value. We can use a variety of algebra techniques to do this, but one useful trick is to define your independent variable, which we'll usually call x and we'll usually re represent time, by the way. Uh, we'll define it based on your earliest data point. For example, our first data point was three weeks after three weeks of writing. So when we build our model, We'll treat that third week as our starting point and measure X as the number of weeks after the third week. If we do this, we can then use our first Y value of 10 as our initial value, and immediately we have our model, Y equals 4X plus 10. 4 from the slope formula and the 10 is our initial value from our first point. Just keep in mind that X is now standing for the number of weeks after 3, so we may have to make some small adjustments when using our model. We'll go into more detail in the video lecture for this section, but that's it for now, and thanks for watching.